Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. So, a quick bit of news. We are going to be getting the Aquaman animated series, Aquaman King of Atlantis. Now, this is going to be a very family orientated three part mini series. Uh, so, interesting. Uh, James Wan is, in fact, on board as executive producer. Obviously, he directed Aquaman itself. This show, although that would lead you to think that it may be connected, it's stated to be a standalone story laced with ecological and ethical themes. So it's not 100% clear cut uh, if it's going to be going back to the DC proper uh, as, as as canon or anything along those lines. Now, it's, now, Sarah Albury, the head of original content at HBO Max, stated the following. This DC property is a fan favourite, rich with well-known characters and dynamic storylines. On the heels of Warner Bros. Pictures' box office smash hit, we are certain Aquaman King of Atlantis will be an exciting addition to our already robust slate of kids and family programming. Now, the synopsis is, the series begins with Aquaman's first day on the job as King of Atlantis and he's got a lot of catching up to do. Luckily, he has his two royal advisors to back him up, Volko, the scholar, and Mira, the water-controlling warrior princess. Between dealing with unscrupulous surface dwellers, elder evils from beyond time, and his own half-brother who wants to overthrow him, Aquaman is going to have to rise to the challenge and prove to his subjects and to himself that he's the right man for the trident. Now, that is fine. Like, it's very clearly just a, a child's a, you know, series or three-part miniseries, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a three-part mini-movie. Um, but the other thing which is interesting about this is this is a DC property. And where is it going? HBO Max. Why? Because Warner Brothers is going to be shutting down DC streaming. This whole DC platform that they try to make is a complete failure. The fact that this is being announced as HBO Max... Uh, rather than anything DC related and staying on DC, is massive, massive, massive uh, confirmation, in my eyes anyway. Uh, and I do think it's interesting. It's very clear cut that Warner Brothers and HBO, obviously the head of Warner Brothers, the owner and all of that, uh, they this is a failure. This is a, a, a huge failure for them, the DC streaming platform. Not really a surprise. It didn't really release in the UK. It was just stateside. They were never really going to make that much money just from DC stuff. So it does make sense. Uh, it also makes sense that they will probably, or we will at least hear, moving forwards of a shift and then putting things on to the HBO streaming service, HBO Max moving forwards, that was on the DC platform. So anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, though. Obviously, it's not really for me. It's probably not really for many of you guys either. Uh, but it will be interesting to see if this is connected it looks like it could do might not be it's hard to tell but hey what do you guys think let me know down below in the comment section if you're new here do hit subscribe stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon thank you so much for watching the guys up and mr h take care